hey, a five minute quickie to muse. I know that you've got a certain amount of time that you do not use. And I want you to use that certain amount of time. And it's not a long time, but a certain amount of time to make you feel. Yeah. How would you like to feel? Have a listen after that. I just hope I've spiked your interest. Have a listen in a minute. Hey, welcome to the Personal Development Unplugged podcast with me, Paul Clough. And this is an FMQ, a five minute quickie podcast, which never lasts five minutes. It always goes a little bit longer, but it's a chance for you and I just to muse, to think of a subject, to talk about it for a few minutes and then spend time thinking, seeing how it would change our life if we maybe developed it a little deeper. And maybe sometimes these five minute quickies will go into a longer podcast where we can dive deeper and produce processes, hypnosis processes, NLP processes. Don't worry about the names. They're just processes for making our life and your life absolutely better. Getting rid of anxiety, fear, all those other hang ups and issues that we have and have the life we deserve and make dreams come into reality quicker, bigger, better than you could ever dream of. But they're the longer podcasts. And this is a five minute quickie where we break down the complicated into simple because in simplicity, there's genius. And that's what we do here. So if you want to just think for a little while, see what happens, see what resonates inside you. And when it does, you go change the world. Personal Personal development. Personal development. Um, unplugged. 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 Hey, my friend, a five minute quickie and something to really, really, I'm not going to embarrass you in a good way, but I'm going to embarrass you. And it's something that I sometimes get my clients to do because if it does nothing at all, it will make you feel good. Nothing at all. If it does nothing else, it will make you feel good every day. And what does it mean? You see, time. I read the other day, time is the only currency that we spend. Money and all that, it's made up stuff. It wasn't there. And it, time's been around forever, If it's unless it's a construct. And that's the only thing we spend. We spend time on things and spend time doing nothing sometimes. We waste spending time on things. Well, it's social media crap and things like that. And I'm there with you, boys, girls, women, men, everyone else who, whatever, all that stuff. We all waste that wonderful commodity, that currency of time. And I know, having said all of that, I know you have 10 minutes spare a day. From the moment you wake up, to the moment you go to bed, in that time that you're awake, you've got 10 minutes that you can give to me. But you're not giving it to me. You're going to give it to yourself. But give it to me to do this one thing. And I don't care whether it's 10 minutes fully. I don't think doing doing this thing 10 minutes. Well, it can be done, but I think it's too long. Why, Why waste a whole... Well, you're not wasting, but... Why spend a whole 10 minutes when you can break that 10 minutes down into five sets of two minutes a day? Two minutes is a good time. Not sure why, because it's longer than one and less than three, I guess. One may be too short, three may be too long. But if you did this five, and you've all got time. We've all got two minutes along the day. And we've got five lots of those two minutes where we could just spend some time doing something. So what am I going to ask you to do? I'm going to ask you to do this specifically. And maybe a bit generally, but more specifically. And I want you to make sure you set it on your, with an alarm maybe, on your, your phone. Or have a sticker. Saying in between, and, and, or in your diary between meetings or before you do this or get in the car. When I sit in the car before I press play, play? You don't press play in the car, do you? Don't know nowadays. But you press the ignition or you turn the key. You could have two minutes just before you drive off. Or you're sitting on the bus, the tube, the subway. 
You've got two minutes. Put your book down. Close your eyes. You don't have to close your eyes for doing this, but, you know, sometimes it's nice. Take away the distractions. If you're not doing anything, you know, walking might be a bit more difficult. Cluffy, are you going to get on with this? You give me all the, all the places I can do that. I, I'm, I know you're big enough to work out where you can spend two minutes a day for five times a day. And there's two ways of doing this. One is if you've got a specific, a specific thing you're going to do after that two minutes, you could actually go, well, how do I want to feel in, the, in that time after these two minutes? That was, I'm going to a meeting. How do I want to feel in that meeting? Or I'm going to meet somebody. How do I want to feel? Or I'm going to start that project. How do I want to feel during, doing that stuff? Or I'm going to read something. Or I'm going to maybe meditate. Do whatever you're going to do. The two minutes before, I want you to just to stop and think about how you want to feel specifically. Sometimes when you just think of that, that feeling will come to you straight away. If not, go back to a time in the past when you felt that way specifically. It doesn't have to be the same context. I just want to know the feeling. I want to feel confident. I want to feel at ease. I want to feel at peace. I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel this, whatever. Go back to that time and feel it. That's all you have to do. I've got other stuff you could ask questions about, but this one, how do I want to feel? What would it be like to feel this way? And feel it. And for two minutes, just keep ramping up that feeling. Wallow in that feeling. It's a lovely feeling. And just feel it. How do I want to feel specifically? And feel it. And at the end of the two minutes, you can actually set a little alarm for it and a timer for two minutes. Timer goes off and you go do that stuff. Now, it could be, how do I, I just want to feel? So you've got a specific thing for, for a particular thing, a context, or you've got generally, how do I want to feel today? Generally, over the day, how do I want to feel? And for those two minutes during the day, five times during that day, you stop and you feel that feeling, the general feeling you want to feel. I just want to feel comfortable during the day. Nothing specific about particular things. I just want to feel really comfortable. Think of a time when you felt really comfortable. And you can change these contexts as long as the feeling is the same. So in, in those five times, you can think of different memories. And just feel that feeling, wallow in it. And just feel it and feel it and feel it and feel it. And at the end of the two minutes, the timer goes off and you go, right, I'm on my day. That's all you do. Try this. No, no, don't try this. Do this for one week. Everybody can do this for seven days. Everyone can do this for two weeks. Everyone can do this for the rest of their life. Because the worst thing that can happen is you get to feel brilliantly or whatever that feeling is five times a day. That's the worst that could happen. Just for 10 minutes a day, you get to feel that. That's the worst. But I know that's going to rub off in the rest of your day. And your unconscious mind is going to start to go, do you know what? This is a good feeling. I'm going to find places to have this feeling. Or if I felt this way and I go through that thing that I specifically wanted to feel, at that specific context. And the next time that context comes in, your unconscious mind go, I know how to do this. I know how to feel. And especially if you ramp it up again just that two minutes before. We've all got, I actually put on my little note for this because I did a note for myself. This is my personal note to myself. How do I want us to feel specifically, generally? I did a little picture of a clock, 10 minutes on it. Just do it, I wrote beside it. And then I wrote WTF hashtag. I don't know why I put hashtag after that, but I always do. WTF hashtag. We've all got 10 minutes. And that's it. Because we have. And I guarantee you, for 10 minutes a day, you'll feel that way. But I think you'll feel it that way even more. Did that make sense? It did make sense. I know it made sense. But will you do it? Knowing it, saying that's common sense, Paul. But do you do it? No, you don't. Because I don't think anybody really does this that much. But if we just did, and, and then we did it over those seven to ten days, it becomes a habit because you start to do it because it feels bloody good. 
So in the words of that famous sporting paraphernalia thing, the t-shirts and that, go do it. And feel good. Feel the way you want to feel. And then let it just ripple out into the rest of your day. Please share this with everybody you know. Everybody, even the people you don't know. Write it on a little card, give it to them. How do you want to feel? Feel it for two minutes, five times a day. You've got it. Tell them, I'm just, but I heard this from Paul Cluffy, Personal Development Unplugged podcast. So they know that. I'm going to tell people, tell it where you got it from. And make a difference, because it will. There you go. Please share. Share the podcast, share their notes, share those thoughts, share good feelings. It will make such a difference. Oh, no, look, there's a subscribe button. Just press that while we're listening, okay? <laughs> Have more fun than you stand. See you next time for another Muse and a five-minute quickie and a longer podcast, but later. Time to fly, my friend. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.